Hey, what's up Print Hustlers? Matt from Printavo here again today at Sound and Fury. And I wanna go over a fun special effect print. So on Halloween, we gave a nice little special effect to show you how to use a glow in the dark ink. Seemed good for the season. So now we're coming into the winter months. We got the holiday season upon us. Thought it'd be fun to go over a fun special effect you could choose to do in your shop today and hopefully make a little more money and set yourself apart from the other competition. So today we're gonna be looking at a product called Crystallina. Uh, now, I had this idea yesterday, so thanks to my buddy Dave Eggers over at Multicraft, he overnighted us uh, a quart of Crystallina. Ooh, you're a legend, Dave. Now, Crystallina is basically a clear, transparent base. It's got a slight white tint to it, but it's kind of hard to see here, um, but it's actually got almost some like little sugary grains in there. And those little sugary grains are pearlescent. So they're gonna have a, a good reflection, kind of like a, a, a super small uh, fleck of uh, glitter, right? So I like this because when I look in here, this to me just looks like snow-capped mountains. It just feels like it, it, it's snow. It's reflecting at that snow look. So with winter being here, Look at the holiday season upon us. We've got some options to do some snow-like prints or some ice-like prints. I've got a great print from my buddy uh, Tom over at Rocking Bird. He made this awesome print that we're gonna show today. What I've done is I've done an underbase white, a top white on top of that, and then now for the third screen, I'm going to apply Crystallina to the top of that. It's gonna give it a nice kind of wet look and a little bit of a snowy vibe to it to match the design itself. Now, this is not necessarily the cheapest ink. It's also not super expensive. Um, you can get this and use it on, on your shelf and use it on prints throughout the next couple of years. It'll, it'll pay for itself over time. But you can definitely charge more for this, right? You can add a dollar, whatever you wanna do for that one extra screen with a little top hit just across the top of it with the Crystallina. So let's go ahead and do that. I've already put some in my screen. Now, one important thing to know is that because we are putting through a glitter flake, essentially, this very, very small fleck, we have to make sure that our mesh is open enough to actually let it go through. So just like glitter, we can't have too high detail of a mesh because the glitter is gonna get stuck and not wanna permeate through the actual mesh. So I'm gonna be using an 80 mesh today. Um, ideally, I would say recommend using a 60 mesh. I just don't have one in stock right now. So if you have a 60, use that. Otherwise, this 80 does work quite well. Um, 110, I don't really recommend. I have to check the manufacturer, but in my experience, a 110 is too, too fine, even it's pretty coarse, it's too fine for what we're trying to do. And what'll happen is if you're too fine of a detailed mesh, uh, you'll get the base going through and the actual flex won't go through, just like with glitter. So I've gone ahead and put some Crystallina in my 80 mesh. I'm gonna go ahead and lay a pretty heavy deposit on top of my white ink. Let's see how it looks. Let's go. So we've got this awesome design, like I mentioned. It's got this great sugar skull style with a beard and the snowflake in the background. Uh, very festive, very appropriate for the holiday season. Um, so this, obviously, having the snowflake pattern, this would be perfect to have that crystalline touch to give it a little more of an iced or, or snowy effect. It's a subtle effect, but it, when it hits just right in the light, it really makes the print stand out. So I'm gonna go ahead and print this. I'm probably gonna do a couple passes just to make sure I lay a decent amount down on top of the white. This has already been flashed, so I'm good to go. Let's go ahead and give us a print. So I'm gonna make sure to give it a flood and then light pressure. I'm really trying to make sure to lay as much down on top of this as possible. So I'm gonna give it a couple passes. Again, light pressure, trying to make sure I lay a good amount down. And there we go. Might be hard to pick up on the camera, but from here I'm already seeing this great kind of frosted icy look across the entire print. Subtle special effect, but really does kick a lot differently than just a standard white, especially something like this. Let's run it through the dryer and take a look. Awesome, let's take a look over here. All right, so as you can see in that close-up shot, you can really see it when the light hits it right. Inside here, it's not necessarily the best. I walked outside a little minute ago. You could definitely see that in, in that. So it's a nice, simple print. 
low mesh, just a nice little sheer on top, really helps stand out, especially great if you're doing a snow feature or an ice feature, um, just to give it a little bit of a glisten on top of that, makes it stand out from a standard white ink on a black shirt or a blue shirt that you might be doing. So definitely check out Crystalina. Like I said, add it to your repertoire of uh, special effects, effects you can offer your customers. It'll help make you stand out from the competition. Uh, let us know how you use Crystalina. What other special effects you like to do, especially for the holiday season, to help the community learn from each other. Uh, be sure to leave any comments below and like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks so much. See you next time.